Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we are playing even Reno Lock. Why have we played so many Warlocks so far this week, and why have we played so many Warlocks in a row? Uh, mainly because I just wanted to play Warlocks, if I'm being honest. But, um, aside, other reason is I just think Warlock is really good right now, and I really just want to play multiple different types of Warlocks. So, today we're going to be playing the even Reno Warlock. Um... It's not just even lock or reno lock it's it's both um that deck is just so much fucking fun and i just kind of miss playing it so i want to play it i also don't know what de other decks to play so if you guys have any suggestions for decks that you guys think are going to be good to play in the current meta or whatever decks you just guys want to see please comment them down below but yeah for this deck you kind of just cheat big things into play well not really cheat big things into play but yeah, kind of, right? Through Arch Willow, through Void Walk, or Void Collar, or Lower Cost, Mountain Giants, Multi Giants, uh, Null, or the other one, the At. I'm not even gonna try pronouncing his name. The the Anathron. I'm gonna go with that Anathron. And then you also have Valley Minions like Bitterbone and Zephyrus. A uh, fun fact a lot of people brought this up last time I played this deck. Bitterbone doesn't trigger if you tap and you lose armor, you actually have to lose life. So, fun fact that I did not know was an actual thing. But anyways, with all that being said, let's queue up the first game and hope everything goes well. Alright guys, I'll see y'all there. Alright, so our first matchup is against a mage. I'm assuming I know what deck this is uh, right off the bat. I'm assuming it's some form of uh, combo mage. So, I'm going to hard mull everything that's not a combo piece. Try to get... Dirty Rat's in this deck, right? Yeah, Dirty Rat. Try to get Dirty Rat, try to get just value minions that I can use to kill my opponent really, really fast. Or get like Zephyrus, I'm able to also trigger or pull out his, uh, or destroy his ice block with a flare or whatever. Um, and yeah. That's not the card I expected to see, but I'll go, f I'll, t I'll take it, I'll take it. Rather see that than most other cards. There's a dirty rat that I got to try and answer a combo piece. But um, yeah. Anyways, also I want to apologize real quick if I sound exhausted, if I sound uh, distracted or whatever. I am basically for those who don't know. Yes, I had a very very hectic day. I had a lot of shit go on that you don't necessarily want to go on. Um, and I went to bed shortly after, uh, or shortly before the video went up yesterday. I just woke up at 10 p.m. this morning, so sub three hours of sleep. And then, um, yeah, here we are now, and it's 12 o'clock. This is a really good start, like, actually insanely good start. Next turn, I have Allie which is good this pushes actually do i even alley next turn it's like i can play slower and do this plus this and lower this a little bit more and i mean i don't want too much stuff on the board right i don't want him to play a board wipe and then get insane value i'd rather him just get whatever value is here next turn i'm playing this anyways so yeah yeah, next time I'm just slamming this. Hopefully pulling a combo piece and I can eat it with this. Um, if not, I mean, I'm just crying myself to sleep, but that's fine. The best draw here would have been like... Uh, there's a couple cards that would have been really nice to see. Mm, let's do this. Uh, Zephyrus is the best draw in this deck now. Is that four with ice block up? He mostly won't play anything here. If I top deck Zephyrus, I mean it's a one in eighteen. Um, I eat his secret and he just dies. There's no way he's freezing here to try and protect that ice block. At least if I'm him, I wouldn't. I just hope that he doesn't have Zephyrus in hand. Oh, I don't have Zephyrus in hand, so looks like I lose. Let's put him down to one, and I assume it's gonna be some form of a gain life thing. Or second block, or whatever. This is fine though. I guess I'm just either dead here, or he's gonna play Reno, 
or what. But I don't know. He has yet to play anything to lower the cost of shit in his deck or in his hand. So, all right, one in fifteen. Yeah, those are the cards I wanted. Um, let's do this, I guess. I'm pretty sure I'm dead here. If not, I mean, I win the game, so no, that's the thing. Let's see if I just die. Yep. Yep. Okay. I mean, there was so few cards he could have drawn there that would have actually killed me. But okay. I feel like he missed on one of the... The card to cycle basically everything throughout your deck. But yeah. We would have had Zephyrus though. This game would have been significantly less stressful. Anyways, with that being said, let's just skip the next one. Alright, it looks like now we're playing against the mirror match. Or... I don't know. I actually don't even know what the fuck people are playing right now. I feel like I play so little Hearthstone nowadays, even though I've played more Hearthstone in the last two days than I care to admit. For most of it was Battlegrounds, but hey. Okay, this hand's not bad. This is a turn three mountain. It's pretty good. Also, uh, another thing I just wanted to mention real quick. Um, I hope that all my fellow Canadian watchers had a very good Canadian Thanksgiving. For those who don't know, it's this weekend. It's actually as it's the day that this video goes up. If I'm not serious, it's on the Monday. So I hope you guys all had a terrific uh, Canadian Thanksgiving. I have, my family personally celebrates it the day before, so we had a couple like basically went over to my cousin's place, you know, had some drinks, relaxed, talked and whatnot. So I hope you guys had a terrific time. And if I'm being honest, yeah, <laughs> uh, I yeah. It's so strange to me, though, how Canadians and Americans have different Thanksgiving. Like, why the fuck didn't we just pick one day? Like, you know, just get make an understanding with the people. Like, look, your independence is this day. Our independence is this day. Let's meet in the middle and just have it at the same fucking time. This way, I don't have to, like, rack my brain around the fact that we have different fucking days. It actually tilts me way more than it should, realistically. Did he play that? I play this. My minion is slightly better than his. Also bigger. <sighs> okay, well. My hand here is really fucking solid. I'm a fucking idiot. That is not... I meant to play the coin first, so this way I can tap. Oh, I'm actually a fucking idiot. I am, for those who don't know, I'm insanely fucking tired, like I said earlier in this video. And yeah. Also, by the way, I hope you guys have a drink. I currently had a glass of water, now I have a beer, but yeah. I mean, being this tired, I probably should not be drinking beer, but your taste good. Okay, I mean, Burning Blood Reaper Gul'dan is really fucking bad because I don't have a wind con anymore. But, I guess I'll take it. I can play this here. I mean, odds are I pull something bad or bad for me, but... You know, I could... Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'll take that. Doesn't kill it. I have Demonic Blast, or whatever the fuck the card's called. Uh, demonic Assault. And I just capped that motherfucker. Oh, he's not playing Highlander. Okay. Which means he has significantly fewer threats than he would have if he was playing Highlander. Um, here, actually, interesting plays this. This, this. This, this. My life total is not a worry because I do have Reno, right? Reno is such a good card. So he has a raised dead left that can... Theoretically hit a giant, or else he has one Molten, uh, double flesh, one alley. Interesting pally. Don't pull a Reno. Okay, well, that's fine. 
It's not the worst thing on the planet. It's not ideal, but it's not the worst. Hopefully he hits some amount of two threes. That one's not that bad either. I mean, I might as well push. He doesn't have Reno, so I don't have to worry about him gaining too much health. 11, I feel safe behind, what is that? 11 health of taunts. And yeah. If he does, if he wipes my board here, I'm, I, I think I just slam Reno. I think that's the play. I think the play is either Reno or it's Flesh or it's Mogar. Yeah. Mogar is also so true. Like this card is, oh, I just smacked my mic. I hope that didn't go through on the mic. Oh, he burnt his other Molten, his other Null. Okay, that's a thing. Depending what he does, I just slam this here. That's fine. I'm not worried about him having health is the big thing. Like, I feel like he's just going to die eventually because he's at 8 cards left in the deck and I'm at 14. Even though I burnt Gul'dan, I'm still significantly further ahead. And the Soul Rens, I think, is there for the aggro decks. It doesn't matter how many cards you burn against the aggro. You'll typically be chilling. Against this deck. Oh, I thought he hit two of those. So he's like, bro, that's not ideal. Uh, this... This is pretty good here. Well, I guess I just sun this here. I mean, it's not ideal, but at the same time, now I'm at 30 health. He has two threes on the board. He has no giants left. Or I guess he could theoretically have flesh, and he could have another dark alley. But I mean, even if he does have those, my board is so good right now. If he kills my 5-5 five, five taunt, I have another 5-5 five, five lifesteal, and I have the 5-2, and I have the 4-6, okay, which are all things he has to deal with. Even though that is... Okay, that's a mountain giant. That's sick. Good job. Cool. My board is better than that. It's the thing, right? And money more deadly. Uh... That's a really good draw. It's a really good draw. I don't want to play this in case he has... Okay, well, he conceded. But I don't want to play the Flush Giant there in case he had um, a border, right? He could have had Twisting Nether. He's uh, even, and he's running Soul Rend. So I know that's typically for aggro matchups. I'm not mistaking, or else that could just bad. But he could have also theoretically had the twisting, and I think it's better there. Like, I don't need it on board to kill him. I'm already ahead on board by like 20 power, right? Is how I saw it. So I'm just like, I, he traces 8 8 into my 8 8, and I still have 20 power extra on board. I'm chilling. Maybe not 20. Is it 17? Right? 17 power extra on board. I'm not worried whatsoever. And I don't need the extra 8, right? When he's at like 12. Yeah. So I would have held it in hand there. Anyways, with that being said, let's just scoop the next one. Alright, so we're playing against a Shadow Priest. This is one of those matchups where you really, really want to find uh, Reno. Reno is such a good card in this matchup, it's actually insane. Alright. Also, can I point out how lucky we've been? Um, I know it sounds weird to say, like, what the fuck, you've been super lucky. Well, we've fucking hit going second every single game so far and in this deck especially going second is so much better oh is it raza priest if it's a raza priest we might just lose because his deck has so much more value than our decks does but um yeah going second with this deck is so oh it's big priest i think so so important that's actually such a good draw as well by so so important i actually mean like right put it this way going second i'm going to play this on three but i can also do this this on three which is the best turn three in the deck right that's what eight 13 power on turn three that's insane and then on top of that i have void caller next the turn after and i have mountain giant i have molten and i also have the flesh's backup and now i also have an enhanced shred lord like my hand here is actually broken like it's so fucking good so, you know, 
Yeah, he has to have to destroy everything in Power Fire Greater here, or else he just dies in two turns. Like, to be fair, if he has it, I mean, he has it, right? If he doesn't, he's just loose. Also, we've drawn all of our late game cards and none of our early game cards. It's not true. We do, we do file. But, problem with this, weirdly enough, is it's too slow. He actually managed to deal with our board. Palm Readings is such an insane card, huh? Maybe this, this. Alright, he was able to deal with what we had. Can he deal now with an 8-8? I actually have to deal with that. I actually have to, like, trade into that. Fuck. Okay, okay, that's fine. It's not ideal, but I'll take it, I guess. Res... That's all he does, I can trade into both. Tuck, tuck. That's pretty good here. I really want to tap, but I can't realistically tap, which is kind of problematic. So, the re- I'm not worried now that he did that. Is that, to me- It tells me he doesn't have that in hand, but I guess he did. Um... Up, I can tap again. Beautiful. I have to slowly lower this cost. Also, this card is insane here. He's gonna probably try to wipe my board here. If he does, a willow. If he doesn't, he just dies. That's insane for me. That's both resurrects out of the way. Seritude should hit Vargoth. Hopefully, Vargoth hits Vargoth. That'd be ideal for me. Beautiful. I do this, this, this. That's so bad, though. This. Uh, my head is so bad here. This. Now this. If I play this, that's one... Oh, uh, there's no two. I guess I can play this for twos. Maybe two, three. I don't care. I can get up to six. And if I get up to six, it also kills this. Um. Yeah, well. won't. I just need to hope he doesn't have a mass res card. If he does, I just lose the game. I think I just have to accept that. I, I lose this game. We were in such a good position, and now the fact that we couldn't answer the double Vargoth, we've actually just lost. This he plays one red spell. He's drawn three of them, Shadow Essence and Vargoth, in the top 13 cards of his deck. Okay, that is actually so fucking good for us. It's actually insane how good that was for us. This. I can't count. Fuck me. Okay, beautiful. Okay, beautiful. Now, Flesh Shrine is playable, but also I just tap every single turn until I hit Blood Reaver Gul'dan, and hopefully Gul'dan is good enough to save me. Okay, actually, I just need to hope Gul'dan is big enough to save me. Fuck you. Actually, fuck you. I've lost this game off that. Actually, the way I had won this game was drawing Kazakus, that card that just never showed up. Um, let's just kill the seven zone, I guess. Yeah, I mean, 
don't realistically have another play here, so this has to be it. Is that every demon in the deck? Yeah, I think that's every single demon. No, there's no Mogar. Fuck. There's not a Mogar, I hit double Void Collar, which is really, really bad. Greater Diamond Spellstone won him the game. Oh, am I just dead here, by the way? Hit hit. That's 16, 18. He has a lot of fucking damage, huh? Uh, that's pretty good for him. You know, hit best possible elixir. Good. I'd take it too. Um, what would be best draw here? I was gonna say entitled customer. This doesn't do anything. I actually doesn't do shit. That's the worst minion for him to hit for me. Off that. I should kill that. Here am I just dead? Seven this. Seven this. And twenty-six. Oh, the big priest matchup is so terrible. When he draws as good. The fact he had to wipe my board on turn four, by the way, is actually fucking disgusting. The fact he drew both breaths and the holy smite on top of the palm readings is actually filthy like i don't know i never thought that possible until i just saw it yeah i mean am i dead now 29 well i'm at two do you have two damage burst it's two damage burst, I just lose. Um. I wonder out how many times this man has actually hit the 5-5. Five five. It's actually fucking filthy. The fact that that was the first hit is just as disgusting to me. Like, for fuck's sake. I'm just gonna concede. No, I'm just dead here. Alright. Hit. Hit, hit. Hit, hit. Okay. Oh well. You can't win every single game. Let's just skip the next one. Ah, another unwinnable matchup, I think. I have to be faster than I hit, and he kills me on turn like five, so. Hard mull for an aggro start. Hit none of the aggro start cards. I actually hit the slowest big minions in the deck. Molten Giant? Actually, I mean, Molten Giant might be playable early, but. Still. The problem with going actually first in this matchup is I take an additional 2 damage from my hero power on turn 3. That's a really good draw. Yeah. Okay. 6, typically 4, 5, 6, 7. I'd be at 7 typically, okay. There it is. I, I was trying to think of what's the difference between if I draw Pack Mule, how does my play change going first? And then I kind of realized it doesn't. Okay. Do that. And let's just play this here. My board is so, or my hand is so fucking garbage. 
Only thing that can save this hand is top deck mountain, right? Everything else is so bad that I think I just lose. Okay, he has a really, really slow start. But at the same time, I mean, I'm at 18 health, right? Alright, well, he could have power shot, power shot. I don't know, just power shot, coin, hero power, AC, Hunter's Mark, power shot. Hey, it is actually a Hunter's Mark power shot. He had the power shot in hand. Really fucking good for him. I wish I drew the power shot. Actually, when I play that deck, I don't get nearly that lucky. That's a really good draw here. Um, play this, and I get to play at Tenaton or whatever the fuck his name is again. Do I get even lower than I am now? I don't like being this low. I want to kind of play this here, actually, but this is fine. I can't tap anymore. I'm way too low. I'm assuming I'm taking three every single damage from every three damage every single turn from now. He had double power shot in hand. Okay, he deserves a fucking medal, I guess. There gets my face with enough damage. I mean, I just slam the molten giant and the flesh giant, and I'm chilling, right? Or molten plus a faceless. I have two eight eights. That'd be pretty good. Okay, well, that's, that's a Molten plus Faceless here. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure he just completes quest next turn. He needs another one drop spell and he completes quest. Because he has Rapid Fire, one drop, coin, hero power. Or coin, quest reward, and he just wins. Let's hopefully he doesn't have, what's the name of it? Um. Let's hope he doesn't have... Hunter's Mark again. We both power shots, so I should be chilling, but. Oh, I'm just dead. Sick. I actually just dead. He had the slowest draw I've ever seen, and it didn't fucking matter because he's actually just too good at the game. He drew the fucking Beardo. I guess the right play there was Dirty Rat. Like. I don't know, I was hoping to save it to pull his guy. Maybe he had to go like rapid fire KC. And then it turns out he didn't. He just had Beardo in hand and he just won the game because of it. <sighs> I'm not saying that that deck is a problem. Okay. Honestly, I'm going to throw my two cents here at the end of the video. No one makes it this far anyways. But my two cents on the current meta, at least how I see it in the very limited games I've played. Quest Hunter feels unbeatable. I don't know if it's just my RNG, but whenever I play that deck, I don't see any of my one drop burn spells. Um, and I just legitimately, I complete quest on turn like nine. So it might just be my bad luck playing that deck or whatever, but that deck feels actually, or my, my opponent's insane luck playing against it. But I feel like my opponents just, no matter what kind of, god draw me or whatever and i don't think that's the problem with the deck i think the quest reward is the quest reward is a little bit too strong in my opinion i mean turn five raza per, like people complain about raza and you have to draw two legendaries in your deck you couldn't draw six cards in your deck and you're playing 25 of them right Especially if you could play 12 raza 12 anduins and you had to draw both of those and you're able to play both of them on turn five basically right um but I think it's just the problem is with that deck is that it's just too consistent. You have to raise the amount of burn spells you have to do, and then that just makes it unplayable. And the other problem is Pirate Warrior. Pirate Warrior is just... It got buffed when it was already going to be the best deck in the format after rotation. I think all the other classes, though, are balanced right now. I think overall, though, I think Shaman Rogue are a bit weak. Demon Hunter is a bit weak. Paladin is a little bit weak. What other classes are there? 
Mage, I feel like, is tier 2. Right? I'm perfectly fine with there being 2 or 3 tier 1 decks and then tier 2, but I feel like the gap between tier 1 and tier 2 is, like, playing fucking, you know, like, baby level hockey or baby level sport and then playing pro level sport. Like, that's the jump between tier 1 and tier 2 right now. Um, so, like, Pirate Warrior, Quest Hunter, and Agro Pally are, like, tier 1. Or, sorry, Agro Priest. And then tier two, you have like Mali Druid, you have uh, Kamosh, uh Mage, you have uh, Odd, Odd, uh, War, Odd Pirate Warrior, you have Evenlock, Reno Evenlock, and then tier, tier like, and then that's the same thing. There's the same jump right now between tier two and tier three, where you'll have like, you know, your quest shamans, and then your even hunters your other variants of mage that are not just ignite uh your paladins your demon hunters and yeah i'm okay with a meta where demon hunters are playable personally but no but in re all reality i think the top two decks are a little bit too powerful but i don't want them to be nerfed i want other things to be buffed so it's on their level and possibly hopefully with that being done the game becomes slightly slower so control actually to play more but anyways that's enough of my ranting about how broken the current meta is and yeah to be fair it is better than just when you're playing are you playing quest hunter or are you losing to quest hunter or not quest hunter uh, quest warlock but yeah anyways with that being said if you guys enjoyed if you guys did don't forget to leave a like subscribe rough the gang as always leave a like subscribe follow me on twitch twitter you know all the general shit but uh, yeah, anyways, with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one, right guys? Peace.